Hello there! Today I'm going to be teaching you Adobe Premiere Pro from zero to hero. This simply means I'm assuming that this is the first time you're encountering Adobe Premiere Pro, but don't worry, I'll show you all the basics you need to know to be on your way to becoming a video editing hero. And we're going to be doing all of that in only five minutes. And by the end of this tutorial, you should be able to create a following video. So let's put five minutes on the clock and let's get right into it. Come on. All right, so when you open Premiere Pro, the first thing you want to do is create a project. I'll call mine Summer Fun because it's summer right now and summer is lots of fun. Okay, once you create a project, you're presented with this window. There are five things I want to show you today. The first is your project panel to the left. This is where you hold all your project medias like photos, videos, audio, you know what. There are two ways I'll show you how to get media into this. First, you can drag and drop them, or you can go to files, go to import, and there you select your files. So I went ahead and downloaded some stock footage for this tutorial, and the links to those are in the description. You can download them and follow along. So I have my media right here to the left, as you can see. I can always double click on them to see a preview for that, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is the project timeline. And to get media to your project timeline, you just click and drag and drop it right on the timeline. Premiere Pro works as a multi-layered software. Hold on there for a second. I feel like we need to pause that for a minute so I can explain what multi-layers are. So when I think of multi-layers, I like to think of burgers. <laughs> yeah, I know. I also got hungry there for a second, but let's try to stay focused on the topic. They're a good example of what multi-layers are. So let's try to build this burger on Premiere Pro. First, I put my first burn on the top layer, the very first layer. Next, I put our meat on a layer higher. As you can see, because of that, most everything below the meat is no longer visible. Uh, you can see a little bit of the bun, that's just because the meat is smaller in size. Finally, I put my top bun, and because I put it on the highest layer, you're going to see that if I drag this and sort of drop it over everything else, everything below it is no longer visible. This is just simply what the concept of multi-layers are. And if you grab this, you can use it to your advantage as you edit your videos. So let's get back to the tutorial. So I'll just show another example like I just explained. If I put this video on a higher layer, you can see it's, uh, the video below it is no longer visible. But for now, I want to stack it next to it and not above it. So the next thing I'm going to do is drag our final clip and put it right next to the other clip. So the next thing I want to show you is the tools panel that we have here to the left. There are several tools on here, but I want to show you first the razor tool, which is one of my most used tools. Like the name suggests, we use this to cut videos. So I'm going to zoom in right here so I can see my video a little bit better. And I want to cut this video so that it starts just right where he enters into the frame. So somewhere right there. So I'm going to use the razor tool, click on it and cut that. And then I want it to sort of end uh, right where he hits the platform because we're going to do the slow-mo effect you saw in that video. The slow-mo effect ends just a little bit when he gets into the water and then I need a little bit more footage for the water splashing. I'm going to click to cut. All right, so I'll zoom out and click my select tool, select the rest of the clips that I don't need and hit delete on the keyboard to get rid of them. So next I highlight all of that and just drag them to the beginning of the timeline. So there we go. So that's looking good so far. All right, so let me just go ahead and organize the rest of the timeline. And then next, I want to show you how to create a slow-mo effect in Premiere Pro like we had in the video. This is quite easy to achieve in Premiere Pro. That is done using the Rate Stretch tool. And to get access to that, you just click on this icon here and click on Rate Stretch tool. What this does is either uh, it speeds up a video or slows it down. Uh, you can speed the video up by reducing the clip or you could stretch the time. And in our case, that's what we want to do. If I play this clip one more time, you would notice that it's now playing in slow motion. All right, let's move on. If you look at the next clip, you notice there's some black spots around it. That's because this video wasn't filmed in 1080. So it's slightly smaller than the rest of the videos on the timeline. It's an easy fix to this. Just click and do scale to frame and voila, there we go, all fixed. Uh, finally, I want to show you the text tool. So we're going to add some text into this and I'm going to put that on a layer higher. Remember we explained what layers are so that it can be on top of the next video. 
and I would just uh, get a nice uh, font for that text give it some nice summer colors like yellow yellow is bright and fun all right I'll reduce the size slightly and when I click on it it allows me to stretch it I could move it around slightly you know give it that wiggle wiggle it and then stretch it a little bit and uh, finally I'm just gonna adjust it to sort of fit the size so in Premiere Pro uh, you could either cut a clip or you could just go to the end of it and drag it to reduce it all right so that is looking good so far all right so the fourth thing I want to teach you today is the effect panel it has lots of effect for videos and audio play around with them I'll use an effect called the cross zoom transition and drag that to the end of the text and also drag that to the end of the video, giving our video a more dynamic ending as it pops out. So finally, I'm going to go back to my project panel, drag in our background music and just drop it right there in one of the audio tracks. And then I want to make it smaller. So I'm going to use the razor tool to cut it right where all the videos end. Okay. Then I'll use a select tool to select the rest of it and hit delete on my keyboard to remove that. Now that we're done with the amazing project, I'll show you how to export it. You go to File, you go to Export, and then you click on Media. Now this gives you several options. You can choose to export this for Facebook, YouTube, and other platforms. And then once you've selected that, you select your output source name, and then you hit Export. And that's it. Our time is up. All right, that's all we had time for today. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button somewhere here. If you didn't, you made it to the end of the video anyway, so hit the like button. Anyways, if you have any questions for me, let me know in the comment section. I showed you all of that in five minutes, but you might need to pause and rewind until you master some of the techniques that we have learned today. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you get notified for more videos like this in the future. See you at the next video. Bye.